everyone, Steven here, and today's a very special day. I'm going to be drawing, well not really drawing, but I'm going to be telling you about some really awesome uh, drawing programs. And this is really weird because I'm so used to you all seeing my hand. So just being freed up here, it's weird. Like I'm even moving my hands right now like I do on the camera. So this is weird, but I'm so excited. I'm very excited because I got the tablet hooked up. Now I got this tablet, the drawn tablet here, hooked up to the arm on the desk and the computers here. So the whole setup's here. I got a nice microphone, which I hope it's picking up the sound. So it's all ready to rock and roll, baby. So I just want to go through and uh, tell you about some of my favorite programs and what I recommend. And this is all new to me. I never really drawn on tablet. But this program here is ArtRage Studio. And I really recommend this. I, I fell in love with it. I just I went through Paint Tool Sci. I went through a lot of different programs. I just opened this up one day after I got it. And I was just like, wow, this, this is a really fun program. And basically the reason is number one. Uh, real easy to use, adaptability, it's so easy. And you can see I got the pencil tool selected right here. And so look at these lines it makes. Really nice. And I'm using the pen pressure, but what I love about this program is it looks just like traditional drawing sketches, which is awesome uh, because, like, see how the, the lines are? And you can do that. You choose, you have options to choose your paper quality. So paper, like the texture back here is a little grainy. So you can see that. Uh, really incredible though. It really does look like pencil and this is great for that reason alone. And so just for this program, if you just want to do sketches, you know, but keep it looking traditional, this, I really highly recommend this program. This, this program is amazing for that. Right now I'm just doing little stuff. Uh, but really, that's just one thing that I love about this program. I'll get into the rest. I, I think this may be my favorite, which it has its cons though, which I'm going to get into. But right here, once again, is your tool. You got an art brush, which is really beautiful. And what I love about this is it's it makes me feel like a kid again because I'm just playing around with stuff. Like see the brush strokes? It's got the thickness and see how it just, you can slim it down with the pressure. But then you can blend different colors on the same layer and really cool. It's just fun. Like I said, it's just a fun thing to play around with and you know especially especially when you start doing more serious stuff like uh, doing characters and things you love I can see a lot of potential with this program for that and a ton of other things you got this tool that will spread spread the paint out which is awesome so especially if you like painterly looking stuff rather than you know clean digital this this, this is amazing I love this uh, airbrush tool an ink this is a ink pen which say real great lines but the only reason why I'm not, the only bad side about this program is, oh man, that doesn't look right there. Let me get rid of that. The only bad part is, when it comes to lines, I think my favorite is Paint Tool Side. Like, I think I'm going to stick with this for coloring and getting basic sketches down, but then I think I'm going to open Paint Tool Side up, and I think I'm going to, I just closed the layer there, and then I think I'm going to go over the pencil sketches and Sai, and I'll, and because Sai has a program with the pen that makes real nice lines and that's one thing. But another thing I love is you have the whole canvas to explore. Like you, you just open the program up and bam! You know it doesn't hinder you with, it doesn't uh, hinder you with like those lines you know that other programs have on the sides with tons of features and you know that to me is something I absolutely I uh, love about this program because it's just, like I said, you open it, you're ready to draw, it's fun, it's fun, it's functional, and also the color wheel. I love this, so simple, you just move it, choose hue, value, and once again, just really easy to use, easy to learn, uh, and also something that's really, really cool is when you draw, like when you're drawing a line, if you go over that section, it'll just fade away, which is awesome, man. Which I love this program! Get out, man! I highly recommend it, so please get this if you can. Uh, I'm really getting excited about this. Another thing, I think that covers everything, but also with your layers, layer tool is simple. All you do is click new, and if you, I'm not sure if you're all familiar with layers, but like, it's just think about overlapping things like there. So if I draw on this layer below it, see how that line, you don't see it because this layer is in front. 
Uh, so that's what's cool though. See how easy it is? You just bring, drag it up and now it's overlapping. Uh, I can get more in depth than this. See how that's on top? And if I want to bring that below, I just drag it and it's there. It's, well it didn't go below. But now it's below, see? And real simple layers. Oh, just, man, I'm happy with this. And see, this is the whole screen. I'm going to show you everything. And that's your whole screen that you work with. And here for the toolbar, you have a simple back click, undo, redo. Uh, you can set up like a canvas, zoom in, zoom out, which is really cool. And you can even push that tab there and see it just gets rid of that all. And another cool thing with your pen, if you hold the right click, uh, you can drag it, which is cool, and just work it around, then right click again. But I, I'm, I know I'm talking about this so much, but I just love it. And another thing, if you click this button here, I don't have any references, but if you click that, here we go, I'm sorry about that. That's why I to make sure like, your personal information pops so I click reference. But you see when you click it, and then you just choose the references you want. And check this out, like I'm doing the one that Moolah Draws did. And look at this, this is so cool. It'll pin it up for you, like that. So you can look at it and you can zoom in. You can expand it. I love this! Oh, yeah. See that? You can tilt it and it really makes you feel like you're working on an actual canvas. It's just got even the little needle uh, there. So really cool and there's so much more to this. But if you are interested, it's cheap too. It's not that expensive, which is nice plus. And so definitely check it out. You can get it online. I think through the website. I'll have all the links below. Uh, but let's get onto some of the other programs and I'll kind of show you a little bit more here. So my second favorite program I really do think is Paint Tool Sci. And I'll show you here. And the main reason I love this is it's once again it's kind of simple, but it's also very in depth. And you see over here you have your layers again, but see how this you, you can drag it too, but it's a little smaller. I just like the feel of the other. But Paint Tool Saw, I highly recommend this one. It's pretty cheap too. And uh, really, you know, it's got all the features and it's got nice effects like water brush effects. Let me just have a try to move the thing. What the heck, get over here. What the heck? It's not letting me move it. Crap! Right here. Oh, in the world. Oh, so, see here you got different brushes, water, but you could say, I mean, I like this uh, because it just has these different features, like you can make amazing watercolors. And honestly, I really love Sai too. I love Sai for painting. Uh, uh, here's the thing with uh, Art Rage, it's nice because you can do a lot of different things, but I love Paint Tool Sai. Look at this, just a nice watery look. Then you can go over it with the pen, uh, black. And when you bring your layer up and then go over it, and here's the thing, look at these lines, oh my gosh, look at these lines, look at the quality of these lines, and I'm making sloppy lines, but just look how, oh my gosh, yuck, you see how nice these lines are, this is why I love Paint Tool Sai, it's perfect for, you know, real good line art, anime, manga, and look like you can make little anime eyes, see what I'm saying? Oh, jeez, that I went bad. I gotta get used to drawing on this. But the point is, this is like my favorite favorite, probably. This and Art Rage Studio. I could use both of them forever and ever and be happy. But you can see you got different little things. But here's another cool thing. I'm just I'm just blown away right now. I don't, I'm gonna take that off. But uh, here's what's so cool. And this, this is why what I kind of am gonna do when I do do digital stuff, I'm gonna work in art rate studio and use the pencil tool then come in here and maybe clean up with lines but this is what's cool it's got a stabilizer tool and if you notice it goes zero to s7 and so on and what it does is stabilizes the line so now you can see right now when i put the cursor down in the pen it's coming out immediately when i click like s3 is a real huge exaggeration it comes out slower and it kind of drags which you can't see unless you see the pen but it makes amazing quality lines, like just amazing. Like look at this, and this is why I love this. And it even stabilizes it, so if your line looks a little crooked, it kind of makes it look a little um, neater. So this, this is amazing, and then you can go in once again uh, and just 
you know, all the different tools, color and stuff. It's just got a real paint, good painterly system. It's a lot popular marker tool, but that's about it for this one. See how I'm going under the layer? And if you don't know what layers are, please let me know. I, I can explain that, but and another cool thing is they have a layer dedicated just to line work. See over here, uh, you can do line work, and this is amazing because it, it is, like I said, it's just a layer dedicated to it. See these lines? I mean, this is what digital is all about. It's just these precise, amazing lines you can make. And what's really nice about this is with the line work layer, uh, check this out. This is what I mean. See how it kind of smooths it after you finish the line? It's very subtle, but it just kind of digitizes it to make it even smoother. And a manga studio is another one I recommend. If you're into manga, anime, line art, they have pen brushes that end in tips, uh, special tips. So, And it does the same thing. It stabilizes the line to make it even neater. Let me see if I can make it wider, show you what I mean. See this? The little curves? Watch that. See how it kind of moved over here and here? I hope that makes sense. It's, it's really amazing though. So this is my second. Let me just see if I got another one here. Oh man, something I forgot to say. I I am actually working on this now, and this is in the present moment. I'm, I'm doing this thumbnail sketch. Oh, I'm excited. I'm loving this new tablet. I'm loving this, man. But uh, something I completely, I kind of really didn't go in depth inside. I kind of gave the reasons why I like it, but I was just using ArtRage Studio, and I was just having a frustrating time. And it was because I was trying to do something that wasn't allowing me, and that was getting these lines and different things and sketchiness. Uh, but I, I really, I don't think I put enough emphasis into why I love Paint Tool Sci. I really think Sci is my favorite of all. I love ArtRage too, but using Sci right now, uh, and one of the reasons is right here on the, this side, very simple selection. The design is so simple, yet so advanced and good. So you can see here, you know, you, you just select like that, and there you go, and you can select the size tip. You have density setting, like how much you want it to fade, the, the brush color, see? Now if I make it less dense, it's a lighter. Uh, so really, I, I just love size. And something that blew me away, that stabilizer I was telling you about, it helps so freaking much. The stabilizer right here, I set it to S1, it makes amazing line art. And it's something about this program, it feels so freaking good, man. Like just making these lines of the face, I'm gonna finish it up and do things. Drawing lines on here feels incredible, man. I can't even tell you what it feels like. Uh, and I, if you have to get just one program, you know, if you're on a budget or, or just anything, if you just want one, this is the program to get paint tool side. I've used all the others, and as much like I said, I loved Art Rage because you can get those artistic things like cool canvas looking veins. For simple digital art, like anime, digital things, sketches, this program, I love it. I love it. It's got layers. Also, something cool is you can rotate it, which is a really nice feature. So you know when you're making a line where your arm naturally needs to rotate. So that's really cool. Uh, zooming in like every other the things it's got the layers like other systems uh, layers are over to the left uh, but seriously really good I'm, I'm just and here's another thing that I love see over here with the layers you can instantly change the opaque opacus oh my gosh I can't talk yeah, I can't talk let's see just slide it it's just a real easy setup and real great design and that's about all though I really really recommend this but uh I'm I'm so much better something I want to point out I get so upset too it's normal to get angry and frustrated like uh, seriously about five minutes ago I was punching this chair the, the handle on my chair because I was working in art rage and the drawing I was doing it was just not coming out what I wanted and it, it was just because the tools I was using and and like I said, something, Psy is just really, feels really good. And so always keep that in mind, you know, always keep your tools you're using in mind. And that just doesn't go for digital, that goes for traditional too, you know. 
you know, you always hear these arguments like tools don't make the artist or something like that, but honestly, they, they really can affect what you want your outcome desire to be. And for what I was trying to go today, so, so that's just a little uh, tidbit, but let's get back to on track here. Also, there's so much, like so much, this program side has also has textures like Art Rage where you can see how you can change it to canvas make it look like a canvas you can change it and also what's nice is you can change the scale like see if you want the scale or how much you want it to appear so very customizable just really in depth and for a very simple interface very in depth so Psy is a winner in my book I, I, I know I'm saying it because oh man it just changed my whole drawing let me show you the drawing before real quick See, so this is the drawing I was freaking working on in uh, Art Rage, and I don't know what the hell, I just wasn't coming out the way, I was seeing it in my head, and of course it's totally different from the other one, but I had a different idea, but there was a lot of reasons, and you know, sometimes where you just, where you feel like you're fighting the program because you want to do something, you have something in your mind already, you know, and like these lines, it, it just wasn't what I was desiring at the time, so always keep that in mind, what, what your focus is. Um, but I just want to show you, you know, everybody screws up, everybody does bad, you know, it's all part of learning and improving, you know. It, it's, it's, it's amazing because when you find, well, what is it? What is it that I did wrong? What was it that hindered me? And it's, it's very inspiring and also exciting because, you know, well, I realize maybe it's just the program. Maybe I didn't want to use this program. Uh, because the lines is what I was going I cannot stop talking about this program. I'm, I'm sorry. If, I, I'm just very excited. And there's so much more talk. See over here on the right. What's so cool is you have like the size I was showing you. But also, I, this is why I love this program. It has simple use. yet so much possibility. With blending, like you can change how much you want it to blend. So say if I do a red streak and then a blue. And I put the blending on high. So that's going to blend the colors to an extreme level. Let's say if I set it to zero, see it doesn't blend at all. It's it's so cool. It's such a really cool program. And I, I didn't want to focus too much on the other. I really want to focus on this because I love, I really do love this. And as you can see, what else is cool? I set it about 55. But dilution, same thing. Like I'm using water, uh, watercolors, which every paint or ink you use, but see when it's diluted versus where it's nothing at all you don't even see the line uh, so dilution and persistence you just change around with it and just really really cool I'd, I'd really recommend you play around definitely get it's fun and one more program it's not really a drawing program it's more of like a Photoshop uh, program but it's a free one and I don't know if you're familiar it's called GIMP uh, GIMP and it's you download I'll have all the links below but what's amazing about this this is how I'll edit my videos I'll, I'll Take a picture of the drawing, scan it, and then redo it. But you can see what it has is really cool features. Uh, like you have a, a blur effect. You can blur things. And really kind of simple to use to say. So kind of like, kind of makes it a little blurrier. Uh, but here's the features I love. It's dodge and burn. You know, you can make the area lighter. And this is how I get the quality that I do. But see, and I'm really exaggerating a show. But uh, really cool program. Play around with it. It's kind of like it's kind of like a lot of artists you'll see they'll do their sketches and they'll do their line work and then they'll use like a Photoshop or a program like this one in order to kind of maybe add really cool effects or add things that wasn't possible and just to play around and uh, you know just just really cool stuff overall and uh, so those are the programs I hope you like it uh, and I'll mention a few more for runner-ups and things so basically Paint.net it's called Paint net that's free uh, it's great for doing like the thumbnails I use you can put like text with your drawings and things uh, GIMP was the other one and of course this one I I'd love this I, I can't say enough art rage studio I love it really love it it's just simple fun to get into right away and once you find the program that fits your needs you know you'll just start drawing and it, it'll be better because I that's my biggest problem my problem is the majority of the time it's just finding out you know what works for you what uh, do a little clock for the time you know what works for you and once you get in that groove then you kind of excel and do things and then 
So my favorite two, Art Rage and Paint Tool Sci. I love them. I think they're great. I think they're simple to use, yet they're also complex. And also check out other things. Illustrudio. Illustrudio oh my gosh, I can't say. Illustudio. It's like a Jap... Well, not Japanese, but it's like Sci. Uh, I think it's similar here. And also don't forget, of course, don't forget Photoshop. A lot of people do amazing things in Photoshop. I can't spell. Photoshop. Oh yeah, Coral Painter. Coral Painter is extremely expensive, but shoo, the people do amazing stuff. It's amazing. Oh yeah, Sketchbook Studio. Another great one. But this is just my opinion. I hope you guys got something. I hope you enjoyed watching. I just love watching colors and things forming. Uh, so please subscribe if you haven't. Share it, like it. It helps the channel grow. And I think that covers everything. Oh yeah, here's this what I was gonna say. Uh, also check Deviant Art, and sometimes there's forms. Uh, see what people use. Go on there and search, search stuff like, uh, you know. Paint tool side drawings and see what other people do with it because you'll be blown away. Hey, oh, here's the point I was getting at. You know, the MS Paint that comes with the freaking Microsoft when you get it, it's such a bad program. But the thing is, it's like anything that's bad or good, there, there really isn't a limit because I've seen some people make really cool, awesome stuff with it. So, the point I'm getting at is just, just play around and remember. Of course, watch your budget because it gets pricey, but that's about it. And thanks for watching, everyone, and hopefully do some paintings and things on the way. Thank you, guys. It means a lot. Thanks.